Hi, this is just a quick walkthrough to show you how to uh, complete the learning assessments and um, I hope this uh, will help you. So what we're doing is we're just simply watching the uh, cursor here as we go. We're in module one. Remember I say go to the content, read down. I always put this introduction at the beginning so you can see what's there. The last entry is always going to be the learning assessment and as you scroll down you should have gone through all of these things by now the last link is the learning assessment and there you can see we can press download directly because that's what you have to do or you could open it up which is a natural thing to do You're, it's just going to open up in brightspace and we're going to look at it and we're going to say hey it's a form i should be able to fill it out and you'll find out that you can't there's no way to grab onto any of those things. So if you read the instructions, it says download the file to your computer. And there's a download button right there. So go ahead and hit that. And what happens is then you have to name it and save it. All right. And then it shows up here at the bottom of my uh, browser. I'll click on it after I finish circling it there so you can make sure you see where I am. And now it should open. All right, but it took a bit. There it is. All right, so it opens. And now that um, we're in it, all of a sudden I still can't. I can see the blocks, but it's because if you look up here, we're in view mode. We're not in editing mode. So uh, make sure you're editing the document. When you download a file, sometimes it doesn't come up ready to edit. Now we're ready to go. So we're Again, looking at the instructions, we already downloaded it. It says, now fill it out. You have to use MS Word to complete this form. Well, we opened this in MS Word. Uh, and now we're going to go through and we're going to look at where the uh, links are here. We're going to pick a date by clicking that arrow over there on the right-hand side. Then we're going to, uh, we have space for name. Now, some people like to just give me a first name. I went first and last name. Actually, I'd love the name that you're registered in. It just makes sure that there's not a lot of confusion there. So I'll put my name in here and uh, then email address. An email address is very, very important. A couple of things that you have to realize. One, I only want your University of Akron email. I do not want your Gmail or any of your other uh, addresses even if you like them we're using the university system here and um, it has to be accurate you have to be able to read this because you're going to get emails from me and um, I've actually had students say well the reason I haven't asked, answered any of your emails in the last eight weeks is I didn't think you have to this is a two-way street you do so now we're asking about your commuting status and if you're not near Akron, tell me what your city is and is there something, some special circumstance that would make it very difficult for you to finish or it's going to be a challenge for you that I need to understand that you're working around. So just answer that question, whatever uh, you happen to be. Then in each of these learning assessments, you'll see a question about halfway down. You might have already answered some things, right? And it's question number one. It says required. Number two is required. Number three is required. Um, and sometimes I'll say optional. But here, just answer the questions. And make sure you read the question and answer what I'm asking. Um, sometimes you read and, and, and you see, oh, he wants three things. But you don't think that. You only answer the first thing. So if I ask some compound. Now we need to save because we're finished. So we need to go up to the top and we need to either hit the save button, but better will be to actually go to file and choose save as. And when we choose save as, it should give us a choice of where to put it. Now I just chose the drop um, the desktop and that's probably not a good place. Probably I make a file folder because you're going to have a bunch of these. Now, when you're done with this, then you want to email it to me. Now you could save it, then go open up your email and then go find it and send it to me. But here's an easy way to do it. Just go down to share and go over. You'll see here after you've hit share, there's an email and then go over to save as an attachment. 
and then what happens is your email pops up except when I did this I, my email popped up in a different window so give me a second here as I try to uh, grab it and drag it in okay so if I was working on one monitor then then that would have come up right away so now um, I've I've got only to uh, make sure it's named correctly remember there's an actual name that I want E244 www the term in the year module one or two or three or whatever you're doing by your name so that way we're good so now we've got that but you have to figure out who you're going to send it to you're going to send it to Myers at uacron.edu you press the button and you're done it's in mine 